Hello everyone. In the previous video, we discussed about the machine learning process and started with data preprocessing phase. In this video, we will write Python code in Google Colab for data preprocessing. It is not necessary that you must use Google Colab. You can also use any platform like Jupyter Notebook. But I prefer Google Colab as it is pretty easy to access and handle. Google Colab is a free Jupyter Notebook environment to write and execute code in Python that runs entirely in the cloud. Most importantly, it does not require a setup. And Colab supports many popular machine learning libraries which can be easily loaded in your notebook. To open Google Colab, just search for Google Collaboratory. And from the results, find collab.research.google.com. It will prompt you a box. Click on the new notebook if you want to create a new one. Else, you can select from the previous notebooks. Here, I am creating a new notebook. And then, you will see the interface as seen on the screen. So, this is the Google Collab environment. And uh, to get you familiar with this, here, to add a code cell, click on this. To add a text cell, click on this and to rename your file, go to file, rename. Here, I'll rename our file to data pre-processing. We are saving our file as ipynb file. Now, to save your file to drive, go to file, save a copy in drive. You can also save a copy in your GitHub repository. To download it, you can download it as a .py file or an .ipy file. So starting here, this is all about the Google Collab environment. Now, first thing we'll do is importing the libraries. So I'm inserting a text cell here to give our heading. importing the libraries then I added a code cell importing the libraries these are the libraries we will always use in any machine learning model implementation a library is a symbol of modules containing functions and classes with which you can perform some actions and operations we must have them ready any time we start building a new machine learning model the most well-known library in data science is scikit-learn and this is the library that contains actually all the machine learning models that you can build by simply creating an object of some classes. We will see that in great detail each time we build machine learning models. We will now import some of the most common libraries we often use which are NumPy, Matplotlib and Pandas. NumPy. NumPy will allow us to work with arrays because you will see that your future machine learning models will expect some arrays as input and therefore we need a library to work with these arrays and that's NumPy. In order to import the library in Python, you start with the import word. That's just a command that will allow to import a library or even a function or any type of modules. Then you need to follow by the name of the library you want to import. And here we are importing NumPy. So we call it as NumPy. And then what we usually do is we add a shortcut. Because each time we will use a function of the NumPy library, we'll have to call first NumPy. And in order to call it faster, we'll, we can add a shortcut. So that each time we want to call NumPy, we'll actually call it with its shortcut name. And the shortcut we usually use for NumPy is NP. And to add a shortcut, you simply need to add as. 
and then the shortcut name here we are adding np as the shortcut for our numpy library then we'll import matplotlib which is a library that will allow us to plot some very nice charts so starting with the import word you can run import numpy as np that is the first import statement in one code cell and the next import in the other code cell and you can keep on creating or add the code cells but generally this is the format we follow as the import statements to be in a single code cell and the rest of the code we divide it into the different code cells so here we are importing the matplotlib so import mat plotlib actually a library is an ensemble of modules and here we are interested in a particular module called pyplot and that's the module that allows us to plot very nice charts so here we are going to import pyplot from matplotlib so you just to get this pyplot module you should add a dot here which allows indie to access the different modules of the matplotlib library and then the module we choose is pyplot so matplotlib dot pyplot and again we'll add a little shortcut here which we are going to call as plt So this is import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt, and finally we'll import pandas library, which will allow us to not only import the data set but also create the matrix of features and the dependent variable vector. It is a super useful library to pre-process your data set and mostly to import them. That is the data set. So starting with the word import. then pandas and see for this library we'll gonna add the simple shortcut name which we usually name it as pd now we'll run the cell to run the cell you can just click on this play button or you can do it from here run time run all or run selection we can see that the google collab is connecting and then after the connection is done it will run the library or the selected cell and there you go you can see that the cell is run successfully without any errors congratulations you now know how to import the libraries in the coming video we'll import the data set that is we first upload our data set on google collab then import it into our python file before going to the next video make sure that you implement your first step that is importing the libraries and try to try to explore how to upload a data set on google collab to give you a hint try it using this files symbol here you can upload it as a file or you can upload a file from your drive so just try before going to the next video until then bye